authentic teaching values the student first of all and foremost. It challenges the educator to start with the student and where the student is at. How the student is learned, where the student is from, his beliefs, start from where the student is at. Different students bring in different experiences and so teaching in a culturally responsive way actually opens them up and brings them into the classroom. It's basically teaching the students as people. How we do this is to make some transformational shifts from traditional teaching practices through to interactive teaching practices, from creating contexts in classrooms that are based upon the culture of the teacher to creating a context in the classroom where the culture of the child can actually become dominant. Just students who are just really, really happy to be themselves. They feel comfortable to be able to thrive, sort of not being afraid to step out and not being afraid to just go for whatever it is they're going for. It's like a really, really um, like beautiful thing to see. I think the schools are realising just how important having their culture and like Stevie's culture included into her learning because it makes them feel valued, important and they'll want to learn it because it's something that they enjoy and it is part of them. Like your identity is sort of like a base for who you are as a person, like your character and stuff and like having a school that ac accepts like who you are allows you to help build yourself and um, just be comfortable living in your own skin. It will be cool because like, he actually cares like, about our culture that, and he will respect that, not mocking it. And like, try and put that against us if we're naughty. Because oh, like, that's where we're from. And it will be cool if we just respect that. If teachers can create a context within which young people can bring how they make sense of the world to the conversation that is education, then they will be able to learn it more effectively. And so teaching is no longer one way, but actually it's a shared experience. We call that ako. So it's a reciprocal nature where we both learn. To recognise that everyone has something to teach and everyone has something to learn, and that includes us as teachers. And by modelling that learning journey, our students are able to actually see how to learn and that it's okay to be vulnerable and it's okay to ask a question. I want the students to know that I learn from them as much as I hope they learn from me. I'd survey all the time, I'd survey before, after, during, just to get my own feedback from them of what's working, what's not, what can miss improve on. Constantly seeking out to see how this relationship can work better. So I had to offer themselves back to them. I had to take what they already had and say, this is enough. You are enough just as you are. And you bring your good, I'll bring my good, and let's see if we can't add to each other. A big sin is actually not to tap into the resources that are already in front of you, because they can offer so much more in terms of a rich, um, a rich contribution to the lesson. In front of me are not empty vessels, they're a resource. And so it required a repositioning of teachers to acknowledge that, to listen to it, and then to accommodate it. Recognising and accepting and genuinely respecting the power that's already there. Now you can't do that without actually learning about what that power is. Now if you don't know their histories, if you don't know their narratives and their commentaries, then they're going to feel disconnected and you're going to do nothing for their anger and you're going to do nothing for their displacement. It took me ages, but the moment I used their histories to empower them, I got buy-in. Culturally responsive teaching is about accepting that the students already have something to offer, already come with their knowledge, and that it is a beginning point for further learning that occurs in the school. And what you don't want to do is say to them in any way, shape or form that that is not valuable here. There's no cultural deficit, there's only difference. And the, the task is to find out what the cultural capital is that you know nothing about. Creating contexts in classrooms where young people can be themselves. 
and, and where their knowledges and, and where their ways of making sense of the world are actually the building blocks upon which they can then continue to learn. And they can engage with uh, the, the school curricula, where they can engage with what is going on in society, where they can make sense from a sound understanding of who they are. Because we have a cheaper run connecting over here. There's more co-construction going on. Now you know we've made it this far into the topic. What do you think would be our next step? So rather than be passive, they start to become active in their own learning process. Explore knowledge with young people rather than give knowledge to young people. It's both the teacher challenging their own view of knowledge and challenging students to think about their views too. Ideas and concepts are developed and formed and reformed and challenged. And that's a different way of thinking about knowledge than just being something I'm giving to you. It's something we've got on the table between us that we're trying to sort out. Starting from the principle that actually the, the student and the teacher are partners in the learning exercise. And what they bring to the learning is something that you can learn from and that when you do learn from it, then actually you can, you can tailor what it is that you have to give in a wholly respectful, relationship-based way. There might be things that I know that will excite you that you've never thought about. So it is about that relationship. I've got some ideas, some things that might make you curious. Uh, you've got some thoughts and insights. So between the two of us, we've got to find some ground that's going to help you learn. I'm not trying to replace you. I'm not trying to assimilate you. I just want to see what you've got that I can share with you and add to and what you've got that you can add to me.